there's none above Sing you. It. There is none beside you. With all we love you, you are true. You came to save us, help and redeem us. You love courageous. Good morning, Dominion family. Good morning. Welcome to our service this morning. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We are getting ready to do our prayer and scripture and then go into praise and worship. Everyone, please stand for prayer this morning. Good morning, Father. 
We are here once again to thank you for another day for your brand new mercies and your compassions, which never fail. We are thankful. We are grateful that you have given us another opportunity of grace to ask for forgiveness for anything that we've thought, said, or done that was not like you. Father, please forgive us. Help us to move forward in a way that is pleasing unto you so that we can come before you with clean hands and a clean heart. Now, as we get ready to go into service today, Father, we pray that you meet us like you have never met us before on today, Father. Let your word come forth with simplicity, yet with power. Let lives be changed. Anyone that is here or that is coming that has any kind of symptoms trying to manifest in their bodies, Father, we thank you right now because your word says he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. So we thank you for healing flowing today. We thank you for deliverance today. We thank you for salvation today, that many people's lives will be changed because of the word that is going to come forth on today. Now, for those that are still on their way, Father, we pray for traveling grace and mercy. Let them make it here safely. Those that are watching in other places, Father, we pray that you meet them where they are and supply every need according to your riches and glory. All these things we pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. We'll be coming from Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. Just a reminder for the saints. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers of his word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give the most Hallelujah. high glory because he's worthy Lord. of our praise. And we give you glory this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. He's worthy of our praise. shadow of death I will fear no evil for the Lord is my right and my step say though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death through the valley of the shadow I will of fear death. no He's a strong tower. He's a strong tower. He's a strong tower. You are strong and mighty. He's a strong tower. He's a strong tower. He's a strong tower.
gonna give him glory, saying, I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. With you is where we belong, Lord. We will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in. Cause better is one day in your court.
you, Father, yes. that everything that we have ever been through in our lives Hallelujah. is intentional. Yes. Hallelujah. It was meant Thank you, Father. or sent to kill us, but it didn't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank I don't you, know Father. about y'all, but that right there, Thank that's you, it for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy. It was meant to kill me, sent to destroy me. And I thought that it would. And I thought that it should. Cause I messed up so many times. I went left when you said right. I'll understand if you wanna let me.
worked it out for my good. Thank you, Father. What was meant to kill me, it only made me better. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Most time for watching. YouTubers, please subscribe, click the notification bell, like and share. If you're watching us on Facebook Live, simply join the Dominion Center page by clicking like, then like the video, comment, and share the video. Thank you. When the enemy's trying to come in like a flood, y'all raised up a standard against us. It only made you better. It only build up your character. It only builds up your faith. It only made you better. Somebody say it's working for my good. It doesn't look like it or feel like it, and that's why you can't really be led by your emotions because your emotions will deceive you. Look at somebody say, no matter what's going on in your life, you already have victory over it. Come on, give me a little bit in the, um, number one, please. Somebody say, you already have victory over it. Amen. Y'all didn't say it like you believe it. Look at somebody say, you sitting next to a winner. You're standing next to a winner. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for the opportunity to come fellowship with you in the beauty of holiness. We thank you for the opportunity to come and just see so many wonderful people that we are amongst the land of the living. We're living in a time of so much violence and so much hatred because the love of many has waxed cold. But we thank you that you protect us. You watch over us. You keep us, our family, our loved ones, our children. And we're so grateful. We also pray for family members in this city that have lost loved ones and lost lives. Uh, we pray for my cousin's family who, who, whose son got murdered on uh, Monday night. We pray for their strength. We pray for, for, for just for their comfort. Father, we pray that even the person that has done it will, will come to justice. And we just thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Now we ask that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And let every blood-bought believer shout amen and amen. 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 We're going we gonna to do a couple things today. I got two vacations I'm going to give away today. Uh, uh, so we're going to see how this works out. We're going to have to wait a minute. Because, you know, there's some people that's going to be late and maybe they're going to bring a truck, a, a, a load of people. Amen. But we're going to go ahead. But I'm going to tell you the truth. The one person I was felt led to already give the vacation. Now, if you ain't going to use it, give it back and we'll give it to somebody else. It's Francesca. So I'm going to give this to you. It's a, it's, it's a three, uh, it's a, excuse me, three day and two night vacation. All you got to do is pay the taxes on it. All right. Okay, all right, so we're going we gonna to give somebody else one. We're going to give somebody else one. Uh, you, you, you like, I need a break, just a little break, right? All right, so we, <laughs> we already gave her one. We're going to give one more out towards the end, and, and we're going to have to do it towards the end because this is going to have to help you get back focused because what I'm about to preach today, some of y'all going to be uh, disturbed because, you know, you, you are a fan, and, which means a fanatic of some of the people that I'm about to talk about. And I'm talking about it for the reason so that you understand what is happening. Uh, and some, some things are going to shock you because you didn't know. Um, and um, some things um, left me almost crying because um, there are some people that I know very well. And, and I'm just surprised on some of the, the, the stance that they've taken. And so we want to encourage you all to make sure that you can keep your covenant with the Most High. And you know how you can do that. You can make sure you keep your covenant by going to uh, TDC or give to TDC. Uh, uh, give to TDC or you can go to livingindominion.com or paypal.me forward slash the Dominion City. Also, y'all all can be seated. Y'all can be seated. Um, also, you know, we want to encourage you to join us for prayer Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. by dialing 605-475-4000. 
605-475-4000. Access code 575-169-pound. Uh, that's 605-475-4000. Access code 575-169-pound. And you can send your prayer requests or praise reports to prayer at living in dominion. That's prayer at living in dominion dot com. Amen. Also be a part of the text alert. You know, on Wednesday we had to make some adjustments and some people didn't know and they showed up. You got to be in the text alerts. Uh, that way you'll know what's going on. So you can join our text alert by texting the keyword living in dominion. That's living in dominion. One word to five, five, four, six, nine. That's five, five, four, six, nine living in dominion. Amen. Amen. Again, I, you know, last week, Thursday, we were in Warren, Ohio, and we preached in Warren, Ohio, and a young girl literally got freed and delivered from witchcraft. She had started operating. Yeah, that's a good place to clap. She started operating in witchcraft, she said, at the age of 15, I believe it was. I got the video. I'm going to show you all the video of everything. I got to put it together. She started operating in, in witchcraft at 15 because she felt alone, bullied, and this was a way, too, that she said she could get back at people. Okay, anyhow. And so at 20, she, she got delivered, and uh, the blessing is my friend that's a pastor, that they've been keeping up with her, um, white young lady named Chloe. And so some of y'all, y'all take this stuff for granted. Y'all think this stuff is not real, and that people are not engaged in this stuff and actually are trying to put um, curses on people. And um, but how many people know the people of the most high? We can't be cursed. Amen. Amen. Somebody say we're covered. Amen. We're covered. And, and the thing that was uh, also amazing, even after I talked to her afterwards, how she said, you know, it actually took her to a place that was way worse than she was feeling when she felt the way she felt. It took her away from her family. It took her away from her, 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 her friends. And um, so she said she even felt worse and more suicidal than she had felt prior to that. And um, I just want to encourage you, you know, listen, if you need help, you know, seek out people in the ministry that can help you and direct you to the right place. Because how many people know, listen, Yeshua is the answer. I'm telling you, he is the answer. Amen. Y'all know him as Jesus in this culture, but Yeshua is the answer. Amen. 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 And so we want to just make sure that we are... Um, understanding too and I shared some things with y'all last week and prior to that to show you that unbeknownst to you all there are things that are happening right before your eyes even the government they call it MK mind control there are things they're doing with television they're doing with music they've been doing it for for, for decades centuries uh well I shouldn't say century because radio and television didn't exist but as long as it has exist they've been doing things to try to control the masses MK mind control um uh uh, uh, flashlight hypnosis and things of that nature that open up your subconscious mind. These people, these people have, have really done, some, and there's things happening right before your eyes that you're not even paying attention to. All right. I, I, Diane, I ain't even see you sitting right there. I was like, okay, that, who that? Well, all right. I know who it is now. Did, did, you know. I was like, who is that lady right there? I said, Robin, I know you ain't trying to use Diane as a guest. <laughs> Come on, sit like, sit with me like you're my guest. All right. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. What I want to do is, is, is I want to show you a couple of videos that's going to set the pace, but I'm going to read this passage of scripture. So those of you who are note takers and like to go back and, 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 and go over your notes, which you should, and research to make sure also these things that you're being taught, if, if they're truth, listen, they're not even hiding what they're doing anymore. It used to be a time that it was very subtle and it was hidden. I told you all about the book written by, uh, by uh, Michael Swift in 1987 called The Gay Manifesto. And, you know, this was written in 1987, the book New World Order by Ralph Waldo Emerson. So they've been, they've been planning and they've been doing these things for years. And some of y'all are like, oh, the stuff he talking about is skeptical. Let me tell you something. If you ain't smart enough to see, especially with us as a people, that there is an agenda when it comes to us, then, then something's wrong with you. Like, if you can't see just that, there is an agenda. There's a good book you need to read so you can understand what they're even trying to do with the kids, uh, especially the boys. Um, Travell introduced it to me. It's like a four-part series, um, and, and it's, you got to read it. Some of y'all probably never got it, but it's the conspiracy to destroy black boys, okay, or black children. 
and it is real. And some of y'all have been through it in the school system where by the time your son is in third and fourth grade, they start trying to tell you that he has problems learning. Um, and then by the fourth and fifth grade, they're already putting him on a track from school to prison pipeline. And, and, and y'all, y'all, some of y'all know it's true. They start saying that the, he, the person has ADHD, not even telling you that some of the things in the food is what's causing this stuff to happen to your kids. Also, the immunization shots and the stuff that they're doing with the shots. I told y'all this before. And listen, y'all don't want to hear this in black church. Black church, you know what they want to hear? Ain't he good? Won't he make it all right? And shout, dance, and run, and yet are not aware of what's going on. And so there are also foods that we shouldn't even be eating as a people. Like, and they're outlined in scripture. We shouldn't even be eating. Listen, you ever watch the Food Network and it seemed like they cook everything with pork? Y'all never noticed that? Me and my wife be sitting there like, my God, more pork? Like, you know, the, the pork shoulder, the pork butt, the pork stomach, the pork. <laughs> and, and the truth of the matter is a lot of, of them eat this stuff and it doesn't affect them like it affects us because we've been the ones called to not eat it. Okay? You got to understand the whole concept of you having a penile gland, you producing melanin. You know, that's the reason why they understood that they put mercury in the, in the immunization shots, that it was 300 percent more likely to affect us and cause autism and cause all kind of ADHD and everything else. I taught some of y'all about this years ago, and some people still went and got the kids a shot and the kids having different difficulties through it, especially the black boys. We have melanin on our skin, so the mercury can't evaporate through our pores like it do other people. So there's a whole bunch of things that they've discovered and they study. Y'all see all these pissed people missing, and they, 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 they finally find them, and all their organs are missing? Do you understand why? Okay. So like I said, it's a whole... We've been talking about this stuff since 2009. You ain't going to go to too many churches that's talking about it because all they care about is getting your money. And, and all they, care, they don't care about your actual health and your value here in the earth realm. So you got to understand, you should appreciate this, but I know some of y'all are agitated. That's why some of y'all stay home. But you need to be here. This is valuable information. Are y'all here? It's valuable information. I want you to look at the person that's next to you and say, they know we're the real royal family. And, uh, you know, y'all know that. Uh, somebody passed over in England recently, least recently, but what y'all don't know is that these people are of German descent. They're not even real English people. They came in and they, they stole these countries from people. Matter of fact, the guy that y'all, they tried to convince you was a homosexual and he was a white guy named King James. If you do the research, King James was a black man, had, had plenty of wives and plenty of children. Never mind. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. Do your research. And, and, and so that you can understand that there isn't a whole lot of attack on us as a people. We, many of you know why because of the teachings, but I'm just telling you, you need to understand. You need to understand that you are from a royal bloodline. You know how they say we've been engrafted in and adopted in? We're not adopted in family. We are the most high's real people. Are you here? We're not just spiritually engrafted in. We are bloodline. Somebody shout bloodline. Bloodline. Royal blood runs through your veins. Somebody shout I'm bloodline. bloodline. Now, 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 it it would seem like it would be easy for you to accept that. Like I told somebody, it's like this. I tell you you royalty and you say you're not. Think about that just in concept. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not bloodline. Really? Wouldn't you rather believe that than the lie you've been told? But I told you it's because of cognitive dissonance that you've heard something so long it's hard for you to believe the truth when you finally hear it. Are you here? And that's why we've been called to live life on another standard. I mean, they have indoctrinated us with so much stuff till we hate and kill each other. Are you here? Well, somebody then somebody well, they got they got crime in their community. I'm not talking about their community. Look at somebody sitting next to you and just say, I love you. And because I love you and I love me, I'm not going to hurt you. Amen? Amen? And so, and so we've been had, we've been hoodwinked. We've been bamboozled. We've been run amok. But some of us are coming out of that. We, 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 have, a, we have awakened to the truth. Amen? 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 Y'all better talk like you believe it. Amen? Who was here last week when I taught the message, Satan can't have me? Amen? 
Look at somebody and say, Satan can't have me. me. We're going to continue in that vein. I'm telling you, EJ, do you know, or, or Maurice, do you know if we had the audio recording from last week? We were able to get that? Okay. Do me a favor and make the MP3 available in the group or for anybody that wants it. See Maurice, he'll make sure you can get the MP3. You need to listen to that message again. You're going to get a little bit of it this week. But I'm telling you, you got you to gotta really understand what's going on. So some of y'all are going to be upset because some people that you are fans of, which, now watch this. When you say you're a fan, it says you, it means you're a fanatic. I'm not a fanatic for anybody but Yeshua HaMashiach. Am, are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm not going to worship the creation over the creator. Are you here? Never mind. That didn't go too well either. All right. Let's, let's hit the first video. Let's hit the first video. We got sound and everything. You made sure? Okay. Now, now, now don't, 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 don't lie to me. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hit the first video. The first video I want to show you is, um, uh, what's the rapper name I'm thinking about? Kendrick Lamar. Is, this, is, is that the one we got? Yes. We got Ken, Kendrick Lamar? Now, I, I thought you said we had sound. Now y'all putting the sound in. You could have been doing that while I was talking. Let me talk a little bit more. Hallelujah. Talk, talk. Hallelujah. And talk some more. Talk, and you talked, and you talked. And you talk. So you got to understand, you got to understand what has happened with this, with this, with what's happening is, and I want to, I want to read, I was going to read a scripture and I'll read this one for sure. Um, it is, it, is, um, he says to Simon in Luke 22, 31. Okay, go ahead. They got it up. You got the sound rocking? Make sure the sound rocking. Women have rights too. I don't have a right to tell you that. Hold on, pause that, said, pause, well, that, pause that, pause that. So that you understand the context of this scripture. William Murphy, Bishop William Murphy, who is a pastor of the Dream Center, you need to hear what he and Jamal Bryant are saying to people that are supposed to be coming to get the truth. You need to hear this. I want you to get this again, okay? You need to hear this. All right. Okay, go ahead one more time. I'm sorry. A uh, super religious person who got a bunch of sin in their life said, well, abstinence is the answer. Well, you didn't abstain. And what kills me is people out there protesting already had one. But you had one in your younger years. So today, proudly, we dedicate, uh, we dedicate babies in our church. They're coming at this time uh, because uh, we believe the children are the future. Uh, but we also believe that mothers have the right to elect where it is that they are in the season and the stages of their life. And they should not be criminalized for making decisions that, that will best suit them for where it is that they are. Pause that because it sounds... See, that's why you got to be careful. Pause that, pause that. You got to be careful of people uh, who, 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 who use cunning words, the scripture says, of man's wisdom, the season of your life. In other words, if it doesn't fit you to have the baby in the season of the life that you're in, then you should be free to be able to do what you want with the baby. Well, you should have thought about that when you had sex and got pregnant. And also the young man should have thought about it when he had sex with you and got you pregnant. I notice I'm not absolving anybody. Now, some of y'all in here, you believe what he says. But here's the problem. If you are a believer, now watch this. I just lost a few of y'all because a few of y'all believe this stuff. Y'all believe, I said a few of y'all do. Now, they ain't going to say amen. But they also ain't going to say amen when I show them what the Bible says. Now watch this. What the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 16 and 15, know ye not that your bodies are um, when I want. Verse 19, 16 and 19, it says, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which dwells within you and ye have of God and ye are not your own. So in other words, if you are a believer, you can't make whatever decision you want to make. You belong to the most high. You say you're saved, right? You say, never mind. You say, let me try it again. I'm going to say it again so the saved folk can say something. You say you're saved, right? 
and you are delivered from the world, but yet you want to be inundated with everything the world is allowed to do. And you say, well, what about if it happened? You're like, I'm not talking about the extreme cases of pregnancy like rape and all that. But even then, I know people who got raped and still had the baby and their kids have been productive citizens. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but you can't tell people that they have a right to choose if they're professing to be a believer. Amen. Look at y'all. I, I would, listen, I need y'all to be a little bit louder than that. Amen. Amen. See, some of y'all, you don't realize you've bought into the feminist movement. But the feminist movement literally is void of the most high. It's saying that I don't have to check my decisions with him. I can do what I want to do. And see, you got to understand, when you are trying to build an audience, let me try this again so you can say it out loud with me. When you're trying to build an audience, and I, I did not say when you're trying to build the kingdom. See, when you're trying to build the kingdom, you're focused on building an army, an army of people who are going to stand for what's right, an army of people. See, when you're building an audience, you say what the audience needs to hear to keep them coming back. Because what y'all don't know, I want you to turn to three people and say, church as we know it has become big business. So when, when it becomes big business, it starts to become void of the truth. There are people in here right now, you think that it's okay to have sex and not be married. Yes, you, there's people in here. No, you don't because you are married and you don't believe it. But there are people in here that believes it's okay. They believe you got to, well, you, you, you know, uh, let me try to think of one of the old country sayings I don't heard pastors say. They, 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 like, you know, you got to try the milk before you buy the cow. <laughs> What? What kind of, what? To see if we're compatible sexually. No, are y'all compatible in the things that matter, the things of the spirit? Because let me tell you something. You can be compatible with somebody sexually and don't like them in six months. Because you are unevenly yoked. And see, unevenly yoke don't mean that she's saved, I'm not saved. It also means that y'all don't think the same. Like the word of Yah is not your foundation. That all your decision making is based on your flesh. That's why people can't stay married. Because when it don't feel good no more. Because marriage is, it, listen, if you, I've been married 27 years. It, it, it ain't about feeling good. It's about loving the person to the point where you're committed to this person. Commitment is different than I feel in love. Everybody that's been married, don't that go up and down? Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, I mean, and I'm not talking, so since I, I helped some of y'all out, the whole feeling of I'm in love or I love the person. You always love the person, but you don't feel the euphoria and the, and the fantasy island you was on. All the time. And only real married people can tell the truth because you, you know, you, you can't go by Facebook married people because all they do is post the good stuff. And then you'd be like, man, they have a beautiful marriage. And you don't even understand they're on the brink of divorce. Here we are in sunny, and you like, Man, they always traveling. Don't even know that half the time they fighting and arguing, they can't even decide what they're going to eat. <laughs> Sick of you asking me, what would you mean? What, you know what I like. You know, so you can't go by that. You got Kendrick Lamar, and I'm going to go into him in the weeks to come a little bit more and some other people. He has the thorns of Christ on his head. And while he's doing it, he's shouting out about feminists. Never mind. Never mind. Feminists, and some of y'all feminists, so y'all can understand. That's why you love Beyonce, not understanding that Beyonce has deceived you. She has deceived you. So, 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 so let's, let's go to the second video real quick because I got to get into this message real quick so I can hurry and get you out because I see some of y'all faces. You're like, oh, man, I didn't want the truth today. I wanted something that's going to make me feel good, turn around three times, and my miracle was going to come. But let me tell you something. There is no miracle without you walking and living by faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You keep asking the most high to do stuff for you that you haven't positioned yourself to receive. 
He's saying, well, you talking about, listen, you talking about you act like you perfect. No, I am imperfect, but perfectly in love with him. Amen. And I'm like David. David says, I have, he says, I hate the enemies of Yah with a perfect hatred. In other words, you know what David was saying? What, 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 what the most high don't like, I don't like. What he disapproves of, I disapprove of. Do, do, can you, do you understand what I'm saying? He says, he says David said, I, love, I hate the enemies of Yah with a perfect hatred. You're saying, ooh, hate is a strong word. Why do you say that? He's just saying, I don't agree. Whatever he don't agree with, I don't agree with. Whatever he says not to do, that's what, well, David was a sinner. Yeah, but he repented as well. And you don't see in Scripture where he went back to what he did. That's why he's called a man after Yah's own heart, because he had enough sense to repent. Look at somebody and say, when I'm wrong, I'm going to ask the Lord to forgive me. And you know what's so cool about it? The scripture says, if you confess your faults, he is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of how much? All unrighteousness. All unrighteousness. All right? Are y'all still with me? Are y'all still with me? Amen? Are y'all still with me? Now watch this one. This one tripped me out right here. Watch this one. Play this. Play this. For to people with a capacity for pregnancy... It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my line of questioning because so we can't talk about it because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can get <laughs> so you're pregnant. denying that trans people exist. Thank and that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, 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 they're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot just I know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yep. Um, Ms. Matsky, let me ask. Do y'all need to listen to that again because you probably missed it? Did, did y'all, you, I think I'm going to replay it because I think they missed it. No, no, no. I think we need to replay it. Here's the problem. These are the type of people that are in the schools teaching your children. Did y'all see the video where the, the, the black man had went into the classroom and was upset because they put his son in a dress when he was like five or six years old? And they were saying to him, like, basically because he wasn't on the documentation, I think it was a grandfather. It was a grandfather. He went in to get his grandson, and his grandson had a dress on. And his grandfather was like, he was, he was going in. I can't even say the stuff he said. But he was like, who gave y'all permission to take off the clothes he had on? First of all, we sent him to school with clothes on. And y'all had him change his clothes into a dress. And the grandfather, they was like, listen, you're not on the, uh, the list. You know, we don't have to sit here and, you know, you, you know. But the whole point is you are sending your kids to school with people who think like this. And they are indoctrinating your kids into this new, new world order. Y'all ain't going to help me. That's why you can't afford not to be at home and not have your kids come to church so they can learn the word for themselves and they'll be able to go against. Listen, my son, Travion, listen, you, you know, he, you couldn't convince him of nothing. Faith the same way. Tyler the same way. You know, I remember Tyler, when he first went to Fedonia, he called me back. He said, man, I went to a class that had nothing to do with it and they put up on the screen, what would you do if you went to bed and you woke up, you went to bed as a man and woke up feeling like you was a woman? Right. And Tyler was like, wait a minute. Hold up. He said, you remember when you sent me the picture of the screen and everything else? You know, you got to make sure your kids are filled with the word of truth. 
so that they'll be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Yo, switch it over while I'm talking so I can pull up some, some images. Do you understand what I'm saying? Did y'all see how she was getting offended? And the man never said any of the things that she said. And this is what we're in. We're in this cancel culture that you can't even tell people what you believe or what you stand for. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. And y'all won't say amen. Look at somebody and say, but I'm going to stand for the truth. And Satan cannot what? Have me. Somebody say, he can't have me. He can't have me. He can't have me. Do me a favor and, and, and put up the scripture. Uh, put up the scripture. Hallelujah. Put up, put up Luke 22, 31, 32. We'll go ahead and get through this. Somebody say, he can't have me. Now, now notice what he tells him in Luke chapter 22. Let me sit down because this type of stuff gets me excited and it gets me excited because I need y'all to know the truth. And some of y'all are, some of y'all are living like that, that Luke warm layer to see your life where you hot and you cold. But how many people know you got to be one or the other? You can't, you can't be lukewarm. You got to be one or the other. You can't just be hot some days and cold. In other words, some things I believe, some things I don't. You got to believe the whole word. Y'all ain't say it like you. Travel, help me out, son. You got to believe the whole word. Amen. Look at what it says. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desire to have you that he may sift you as we. Then watch this, verse 32, and then we're going to put in a new living and go back over it real quick. If y'all start getting hot, I turned it off because I knew some of y'all was going to say it was cold, okay? So if you get too hot, we'll turn it back on, knock the, knock the heat off, and get right back to being cold again. All right? So it says, but I have prayed for thee that, thou, that thy faith fail not. And he says, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Now watch this. Are y'all still with me? And this is the reason why you have to have your spiritual eyes on. Let's go back and it says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you, sift each of you like wheat. Come on. And then he says, he says, but I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith should not fail you. So when you have repented and turned to me again and strength, go strengthen your brothers. Did y'all just see when I showed you the video of William Murphy okaying abortion? Because a woman has a right to choose. I just showed you uh, the video of the pastor before that. Who was the pastor that we had? Uh, uh, Jamal Bryant. Okaying it as well. Because a women have a right to choose. Now, I know some of y'all are feminists. But I'm telling you, if you are a believer, you don't have a right because your body don't belong to you. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's what I just showed you in scripture earlier. Now, watch this. He says, Simon, Simon, Satan desires to sift you and have you ever wheat. Which means he desires to, when they would put people in a sieve or put wheat in a sieve, they would toss it and they would toss it until the, sh until the chaff would blow away and then the rocks would separate from the wheat and all you would have was the wheat left but what it's really saying that he desires to sift you he desires to separate you from the most high how many people got your mind made up that's not gonna happen amen, amen. amen. he says he desires to sift you he desires he wants you to understand that he wants to take you through the process and that the process of sifting you would break you apart and separate you from the most high, that it would cause you to be weak and blow away and that you would go astray. But we got a bunch of people in here. We're not a part of that in the uh, army of people that are falling away from the faith. Do I have somebody right here? Your faith is stronger than it has ever been before, and you are committed to the most high like never before. Amen? So, so how does he want to sift you? Well, in the case of Peter, Satan was able to take Peter's pride and to use Peter's pride against him because Peter, remember, he is the same person that when Yeshua was talking to him and he says, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Now, he actually answered the question with the statement he made at the end. But some say, some say Elias. And then he says, some say, you know, this person. He said, but Peter says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And then he turns to Peter and says, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father which is in heaven. And he says, and upon this rock I will build my church, upon this confession, upon this Petra, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. It is at this point that Simon is now no longer referred as Simon, but as Peter, which means rock. But it's the same one when he tells them, i got to go, I'm going to be crucified, but in three days I'm going to raise up. He said, that's not going to happen. And look what pride says. That's not going to happen. If I got to kill people, if I got to die, it's not going to happen. 
Now, the same one that could reveal that you had a powerful revelation, isn't he the same one that can tell you what he's about to do and why he's here and what his purpose is? Isn't he the same one? So even when he tells Peter this in this passage, let's go to the next verse. Look what Peter says in the next passage as he's telling him this. He says, but I pray for thee that thy faith fail not. And he says, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Keep going. Watch this real quick. We've got to lay the foundation. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and the death. Go to the next verse. He says, <laughs> he tells Peter, he says, Peter, the crock shall not crow this day before thou, hast sh- before thou shalt thrice deny that thou even knew me. See, you, you can be following Christ, but not with him. You can come to church, but not be with him. See, can I address the issue with, with, with the things that those pastors said and that the scripture, the scripture de- de- describes it, that it would happen? I remember my wife when she was going to Bible school or Bible college. I went with her one day to sit in and audit the class, and she had a, I don't remember that man's name. Do you remember his name? He was the dopest teacher I ever seen. Oh, man, he might have been almost 80 years old, but, you know, he had a rhythm to him, and he was breaking down Jude, and I was like, my God, he dope. Never mind, y'all. <laughs> and I was like, Michelle, I didn't know y'all was getting it like this here. But he was amazing. And one of the things that you have to realize, let's go to 2 Timothy 3, 6 and 7, so I can address the issue which you've seen with those pastors, which some of y'all don't think is a big deal because y'all know some of y'all think the universal church is okay. You know, and some of these, these churches that they, they believe that you can have an alternative lifestyle and it's okay with the most high. But the scripture does not approve of that. They can try to say whatever they want to say. It says, for of this sort are they which crept into houses and led captive silly women laden with sin, led away with divers lusts. In other words, these people have crept in. Now, let's go to Jude chapter, well, it ain't but one chapter in Jude, but let's go to Jude real quick. And we'll, <laughs> I'm saying like it was more chapters in there, but let's go to Jude. There ain't but one chapter in there. We go to Jude. We, you ain't got to figure out where to start either, son, because it ain't but one chapter. All right, so go to Jude. <laughs> we'll go ahead and start at verse one. We'll start there. I want you to understand that. The scripture told us this stuff was going to happen in the church. You got to understand that people are profaning the name of Yah. And they're partnering up with the world. And what they do is they make the world look safe to people because the Clark sisters is doing an album with somebody. Or Fred Hammond is doing one with Snoop. So Snoop got to be all right. Okay. Uh, Let's go to verse 2, Travel. I guess we could go to verse 2. It says, and the Lord said, Judah... No, this is Judges, Jude, excuse me. I might have said Judges by accident. I meant Jude. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Jude, it, say, it says, mercy unto you and peace and love be what, y'all? Multiply. Go ahead. Now watch what it says. It says, beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly do what? Contend for the faith which was once delivered unto who? The saints, right? So who is he talking about in this passage? He's talking about the saints. He's talking about the church. He says, he says, verse 4, he says, now watch this. Y'all, y'all got to watch this. Man, man, put a new living translation real quick. You got to watch this right here. Look what he says. Come on, let's rock and roll. Y'all so excited. I can sense it. I can, I can, you skip to, let's go to three new living translation. Three new living new translation. Come on, come on. They so excited. Y'all see it? It's getting hot, ain't it? Uh Uh-huh. Come on, go to verse three, please. New Living Translation. He says, he says, he says, dear friends, I have been eagerly planning to write you about the salvation we all share. But now I find that I must write about something else, urging you to what, y'all? Defend the faith that God has entrusted once for all time to who? His holy people. So that means you can't sit back and not say nothing. That, that you can't, you got to cry loud and spare not. You can't just be quiet about it. Now watch this. Next verse. Come on. Come on. It says, it says this. Watch this. I say this because some ungodly people have wormed their way into your churches. Saying that God's marvelous grace allows you to live in moral lives. I told y'all when Kanye West started doing that stuff, right here I told y'all that, that whole thing is a gimmick. And he went right back to what he was doing. You know how many people say, it's so awesome Kanye saved. He delivered. Man, listen, 
you will know them by the fruit that they bear. You are called to be fruit inspectors. Never mind. Look how quiet it gets. You're like, yeah, I liked it. I, put it. I downloaded it on my playlist. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But look what it says. He says, the condemnation of such people was recorded long ago, for they have denied our only master and Lord, Jesus Christ. Now, look, keep going. Now, now, watch this. Watch this. Verse 5. So I want to remind you, though you already know these things, that Jesus first rescued the nation of Israel from Egypt. But later he destroyed those who did not remain what? Faithful. Amen? And Satan is hoping that you don't remain faithful. Next verse. So for, you, you can't be surprised that you see a pastor standing up saying those things because some of these people have wormed their way or the King James, it says, have crept their way in. And the old man from the Bible study said, you better watch out for the creeps. You better watch out for the creeps. Somebody shout, watch out for the creeps. So it says, he says, he says, and I remind you of the angels who did not stay within the limits of authority God gave them, but left their place where they belong. He's talking about Satan in the third of heaven that was cast out. He says, God has kept them secretly chained in prisons of darkness until the great day of judgment. So you can't run around saying Satan chasing you, he riding in your car and all that other stuff. All Satan doing is shouting suggestions from hell and you answering them. Seriously. I always likened it unto when I used to work down at the courts. I see uh, women outside and the dudes would be locked up. He was like, you ain't said my stuff. She was like, I'm, I, just, I just put it in there today. But your kids ain't got no clothes and can't eat. I need my commissary. I'd be like, honey, go ahead. Don't, you, 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 you still scared of him? He locked up. <laughs> All he going to do is be mad in there by himself. She'd be like, but he be tripping. So that's the same thing. Satan is chained and bound in hell, yelling suggestions, and people are falling victim to suggestions. Remember, the scripture tells us that God cannot be tempted with sin in uh, James 1. Don't leave here. James 1, 13 verse. But he says, every man is tempted when he's drawn of his own lust and enticed. And when lust has been conceived, it brings forth death. Right? Notice it says, every man is tempted when he's drawn of his own lust and enticed. So what Satan does, he looks at what you got on your mind that's immoral. And he says, yeah, go ahead and make it feel good. You like it sure would. What you doing? It'll make you feel good. So, so look at what it says. We got two more verses, Travell, and then we'll slide up out of here. Somebody say, Satan can't have me. Amen. Look at this right here. Y'all still with me? So P Peter's pride got the best of him. Peter's pride, and the truth of the matter is it's still working today because people will hear the truth, but pride will tell you, man, he's just being deep. He's just being overly religious. It ain't all that serious. That's what pride will tell you. It ain't that serious. I can handle it. It ain't that serious. I just love listening to that. I love watching. You know what I'm saying? But you have to understand that we all can't watch and listen to everything. And then, like I told you, when I broke the whole thing down with Dr. Strange, and I showed you how in Dr. Strange they use hip, uh, hip, flash hypnosis to literally open your subconscious mind so that you can receive what is being said. And then I showed y'all, if, if you got it still for me, I showed y'all that he does chants out of the Egyptian book of the dead. When he's doing the movie, he's doing chants and casting spells out of these different books. Let's show the book. So he's the Egyptian book of the dead. Now, when I was preaching in Ohio, the girl who was in witchcraft said she knew she was in trouble when I started putting the books up because she has actually gone through every one of the books that I had up here. She said, oh, I'm in trouble. So why you like, oh, it ain't that serious. The one that was doing witchcraft said she went through every one of these books and learned how to cast spells. And yes, he's right when he's talking about these movies. And there's other movies like Craft. And I could just keep going on. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Matter of fact, if you do your study, some of these same shows, they would bring witches on the shows to be consultants. I know Samantha looked cute. But that's why my mom back in the day was like, turn, turn that off. I said, I like how she just go, trick it, trick it, trick it. <laughs> Next book. Look at this. Next book. Matter of fact, 
if you watch the movie, which you got to be careful, and then some of y'all don't realize that when you are defending these things, you are actually being inundated by these things. The, the book of shadows. She said, every book you just show. Do y'all know they sell these books on Amazon? I hope that y'all don't decide to go get them so that you can run around going and, and, and cast spells. And <laughs> you just one more person we're going to have to cast the devil out of. <laughs> next, next one. Look at the other book. Look at the other book. This is another book. This book right here. Okay. It's, it's Black Magic Spells of Destruction. This girl said, I read all of them. And she said, he's right. I, when I hear movies and stuff, and I know they're doing these chants, I know where they got it from. And y'all just like, it's just a movie. The flashlight hypnosis. Go, go, to, go, go to that. They do it. It's called MK Mind Control. And they have learned how they can open your subconscious mind. So while you're sitting there and just listening, it is actually, actually getting into your subconscious. And that's the reason why sometimes you end up behaving in ways that don't make sense. You don't even know why you do some of the things you do, even when it comes to the music. You got to understand how powerful music is. Matter of fact, you've learned everything that's significant by music. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S. When you got old, he was like, it's L M N O P, but L M N O P. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Help me out. It's two different ways. Now I know my. Next time, won't you? When the last time you sung that song? It is stuck in your subconscious. Or now I never will forget how to say my alphabet. You ain't learned that part. You see, you see. But my whole point is, look at that. It is in your subconscious mind. And the moment that I started singing it, it literally resurfaced through all the things that has buried it in your subconscious mind. But when you hear it, it's activated. That's why Carly B said a few months ago that her music activates demons. She said it herself. And she don't want to do it no more. I just want to be a mother and a wife. But she can't because she sold her soul. She can't get out of it. Can you imagine that you at a place where you're tormented, but you can't get free because you sold your soul to the devil? Some of y'all are quiet. Now you're trying to understand, Travell, why he don't do hip. We've had these conversations. He said, Bishop, I can't do it no more. I can't mess with it. You got to even be careful from the whole Christian hip hop. It's oxymoronic. You got to understand that when God gives you a song to sing or, or say or share with the people, it, it is to be shared with them and not to be manipulated. And never mind, never mind, never mind. And, and Travell will tell you, because even sometimes if you're not careful, the spirit of a person that you admire will come back on you and you're moving and you're rapping and you move. Am I telling the truth? Because because you got to understand that this stuff is demonic. That's why I thought I was Run DMC. And that's why he thought he was Jay-Z. Or, listen, you know one of the things, I worked in the psych department. You ever, listen, I'm going to teach y'all something that always blew me away. All the black men who were having psychotic episodes would think they were Tupac. What kind of demonic stuff was he into? And they were open up to that they think they're Tupac when they lose their mind. Never mind. Okay. All right. All right, so this is what I'm saying. Satan, what he does is when this type of stuff is taught, you fight against it because of your pride. I can handle it. It ain't that serious. But look at somebody say, yes, it is. It, somebody say, it's real serious. Look at, look at what, listen, this is what happens with pride. Proverbs, uh, try Proverbs 10 and 19. See if we got the New American Standard Bible. Look at what happens with pride. Let's, 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 let's mosey along. Come on, mosey, mosey, mosey. I ain't going to be the finish. Somebody shout mosey, mosey, Travell, mosey. Look, look, you got it, son? Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'll read the verge and put it up in the New Living Translation. It says, when there are many words, transgression is unavoidable. But he who reframes his lips is wise. That's what happened with prize. It says transgression is unavoidable. In other words, which means you're going to end up violating or going against the word of the Most High that you know is right. Let's, start, let's go to Proverbs 14 and 3. It says, in the mouth of the foolish is the rod of pride. It said it's the rod of pride. Okay, a, 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 foolish, a, a foolish proud talk becomes a rod that beats him. Are you seeing? Look at what this says. It says a fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him, but the words of the wise keeps him what? Safe. Amen? 
So look at somebody say, I got to be careful to not be prideful and tell people what I know I can handle and what I can't. And what's happening while you're prideful, you are getting as far away from the most high than you can even realize. And some of y'all right now saying he tripping. Some of y'all right now saying I can handle it, but can you? And like I told you, some of the people that you're listening to, most of the people that you're listening to, I almost want to say all the people that you're listening to, they have sold themselves out to become famous while other people become wealthy off of them. I told you about my cousin and what he said about a boogie. I ain't going to repeat it again, but I told you what he said. And he had to get up out of there because these dudes, listen, they'll put you on, but they want to know that if you're willing to do whatever you need to do to get on. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Look, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10. And then most of y'all say, I can listen to it and it ain't going to affect me like that. I know my heart. Everybody in here, how many people in here, you said you knew your heart and found out you ain't know your heart like you thought you did? Did things you said you'd never do? Went places you said, never said you'd go? And that's why I told you, sin, sin will take you further than you plan to go, keep you longer than you plan to stay, and cost you more than you were willing to pay. Look what it says. The human heart is the most deceitful of all things and desperately wicked. Who really knows how bad it is? Look at the, night, look at the next verse. It says, it says, but I, the Lord, search all what? All hearts and examine secret motives. I give all people their due rewards according to what their actions deserve. And so he's saying that whatever in your life that you don't like, he had to give it to you because it's what you really wanted. Because that's what you really was thinking on. So he had to give it to you. So you can sit here and blame where you are in life on people or on him. And he's saying, no, the only person that you need to check out and examine is yourself. I just gave you what you wanted. I allowed you to have it. That's the reason why the worst thing for him to do is to turn us over to a reprobate mind, which means he'll turn us over to ourselves. Do you understand what's happening here? Like even when we just showed those videos for some of y'all who saw it, you got to understand what's happening. And this is the reason why you got to be careful where you let your kids go to school. I suggest if you can, homeschool them because it's getting bad. I showed y'all last week. You still got it, the gay BCs that they teaching the kids in the school? They teaching people the gay BCs in school. Are y'all still here? Listen, listen, it's called the gay BCs, words and pictures by ML Webb. Now watch this one. B, what is B for? Let's go. Let's see what B stands for. Uh, it says, uh, it's, no, that's L. I know y'all don't know the difference between B and L, but okay then. <laughs> let's stay with L. Okay, let's go to B then. My God. It says, it says, B is for bi. You can shout it out loud. I like more than one gender, and that makes me proud. Yeah, they starting in daycare because they, they're programming and inundating your kids into this system. That's why some of your teenagers don't think that there's anything wrong with an alternative lifestyle because they've been training them for years. And you ain't been teaching them no word. L is for lesbians. It's love and affection between two special girls who share a connection. And just like they taught you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, they teaching the same thing. Now, here's, here's the thing. Uh, you, you know, some people don't care. They're like, I want my kids to be, to be well-rounded while they're losing them. Somebody ought to, somebody should have, y'all don't even say nothing to me. Like, you, you, well, okay, just let it go like it's going to go. Somebody shout, the devil is a liar. Let me teach you the difference between shouting. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I need somebody to shout with an angry, offensive, holy nature to shout, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. There we go. Oh, oh, no. So that wasn't good enough. They started going around to the libraries, and they had these drag queens come into the libraries to start. No, no, y'all got to look. So, so first of all, when I was a kid, I would have been running. We have a special person coming to read to you today, kids. I know for a fact, and if, and if, if my grandson, they run up on Braden, he going to fight him. He, I'm, listen, he, he fight people for a little more. He, he sure ain't going to let that happen. With the, with the Baphomet piece on the top of their head. 
showing that they're satanic. Y'all ain't going to help me. Look at the next picture. Look at the next picture. You got me, Mo? Look at the next picture. You got you to gotta, you follow the order. Look at, look at this. And, and a library near you. Go ahead. Go ahead to the next one. Go ahead. Look at that mom holding her kid. Get all you can get in. Now, now, now I want you to get this. Since the libraries wasn't working as, as fast as they wanted, I, I, I know how my time is up. Look at y'all like, okay, you need to understand. Look, look at it. Go to the next one. So what they done did now is, is they, they about to put it on PBS. Drag Queen Story Hour comes to homes on PBS. Let's learn TV series. Parents need to beware. Drag Queen Story Hour is returning, uh, and, and this time it's not just a local li- it's just at local libraries. Instead, it will what? It, it, could come, it could be coming to your home. I wish I could read the latter part right there, but the truth of the matter is it is already approved on PBS, and they've been showing it the last year. And so you can leave your kid watching PBS and go upstairs or go in the kitchen to get a snack and come back, and the drag queens are on. <laughs> you heard Javel? I thought PPS was holding out. If you're going to be in this system, they saying you got to comply. Are y'all still here? And, 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 and so you got to watch this. So look at somebody and say, I cannot handle it. I don't want to handle it. Am I talking to the right people? Somebody say, Satan can't have me. And Satan can't have my kids. He can't have my grandkids. He can't have nobody in my bloodline. I need about three or four people. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Some some of y'all ain't saying nothing. You better say they can't have my bloodline either. And even people in my family, they can't have them. They will be delivered. They will be set free. They will be, y'all ain't going to help me. You need to talk like you know you And like I told you on last week, you got to understand, he wants to sift you. He wants to confuse you. He wants to, he wants to shake up your life. He wants to literally break your life up, toss your life up and down and literally destroy you. But you have to make up in your mind that he cannot have me. Somebody say, I said it again. He can't have me. And I told you on last week and showed you how Beyonce, through her career, has set on all four apocalyptic horses out of Revelation chapter 6. When we understand that Revelation tra- chapter 6 ushers in the tribulation period. She set on all, every last one of them. And some of y'all listen to her on your way to church. You're going to listen to her when you leave because you feel like you can handle it. But let me tell you something. Your spirit cannot handle it. She sat on every last horse, and on her new album, Renaissance, she's sitting on a white horse, which is the first horse in the book of Revelation chapter 6, which is the horse that has the Antichrist sitting on it. She's telling you who she is. But she don't mean that. She don't mean that. And and I've had people that used to go to church here that was like, they would get hot, like they knew her personally, and and they, they was on a payroll or something. They'd be like, you talking about Beyonce? I love her. You love her more than you love the most high? Huh? You got to be like David. I hate the enemies of Yah with a perfect hatred. In other words, I don't like what he don't like. I, I, I disagree with what he disagrees with. Amen? Talk to me, somebody. Amen. And I told you she was on the white horse, which represents the Antichrist. On the red horse, you see her, which means bloodshed and war, anarchy, and also represents, oh, my goodness, hallelujah. I ain't going to go into that. It represents war, bad economy. The pale horse represents sickness, pestilence, and disease. And like I told you, she's been seen throughout her career on all of them. But it's just a coincidence. But she started off saying she was a survivor and she was trying and she wasn't going to compromise her Christianity. But Christianity is compromised anyway. And you know it because your favorite rapper would get right on the war show and just told her, mother sucker did the blood of the mother. And, you did, and 
I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ <laughs> for making all this possible. I wouldn't have been able to sleep with them 52 women if he didn't open up the door and smoke all the, the weed I've been smoking and drinking, the, the henny, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord opened, you know, I had a beautiful time in Amsterdam where everything is, is legal. I might have slept with every woman over there, but I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> y'all know, and some of y'all used to be like, oh, I can't believe they did that. But everybody's a Christian. But is everybody a saint? Is everybody a believer? Is everybody really children of the most high? Are you here? Y'all ain't saying nothing. And some of your children, they into that anime. And anime is demonic to the core. I ain't going to even cover it right now. It's demonic to the core. And you just let them watch it. And your kids be acting crazy. And you be like, come on, sit down, Timmy. He be like, shut up, mom. Shut, shut up. <laughs> I don't know where he learned that from. Their spirits have been opened through the flash hypnosis and the chants and the, the, the curses that have been spoken. Because Satan wants to get your child in their impressionable years. You have to understand that. If you ain't teaching them, somebody is. Are y'all still with me? <laughs> Are y'all still with me? I like your force, by the way. Are you listening to what I'm saying today? I appreciate you, young man. <laughs> now watch this. I love Beyonce. I love her. I surely do. And I care you dead if you talk about her. Well, on her song Cozy, on the Renaissance album, she is promoting the LGBTQXW34.5 <laughs> community. And her album is dedicated to Uncle John. You know why I say that? Because they'll put another alphabet on there in a minute. She dedicates the album to her Uncle John, who's not even her uncle, but he's like the greatest gay man she knows, and he's taught her everything about the industry. I bet he did, and that's why she's sitting on them horses right now. Can you imagine the scripture is talking about people like her who grew up in the truth but have departed from the truth? Show, show the next picture of her and Jay-Z, because I know y'all think this is an accident. That's an accident, Right? That's an accident. That's an accident, which really is about the eye of horse. I'm not even going to get into that today. This is an accident. All this stuff is accidents. Go to the next one. This is an accident. Satan wants to have you. This is an accident. Satan wants to have you and sift you as wheat, but I've already prayed that your faith fail you not. Look at somebody and say, I'm not going for it. I ain't going for it. This is not an accident. Go to the next one. This is not an accident. This is not an accident. Throwing up 666. That is not an accident. I, I, that's not an accident. Matter of fact, it ain't just 666. When you do it this way, it's six, six, it's three sixes. Okay? So you got to understand that when they get up and do this, when they get up and throw the Baphomet heads up, when they do stuff like that, when they do this, it's a part of the secret society. When they cover one eye, they're doing all of these things that you can't see, but you are embracing. Go to the next one. That was it? Okay, okay. Kendrick Lamar. It's going to be all right. I know you about to, he about to, he's like, whoa, I know he ain't going to touch Kendrick today. <laughs> Blasphemous. Blasphemous. With a crown of thorns on his head while he's yelling out, Feminist chants. I showed y'all at the beginning the video where he was yelling out feminist chants, feminist movements. They, like they judge Christ, stand up for, for women's rights. They just, you got to understand the women's rights movement is demonic. I know you don't because it sounds, then how is it demonic? Because it is telling women to embrace denying the will of the Father for their lives. And if you want to talk to me later, I'll give you more so that you can decide if you want to still be a part of the movement. The other day, I rented out one of my cars, and one of the clients left a puzzle, Little Feminist 
500 piece puzzle, little, little feminist. And then a shirt, boys will be boys with boys X'd out. And then it says, boys will be boys X'd out feminist. Then they called me or reached back out to me and said, I think we left some of our gifts for our kids in your car. And I started to say, I burnt them the hell up. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about the necklace they bought for the girl. But it, 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 so, 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 so he says, can you mail them to me and I will send you. And I was saying to myself, it's weird for me to meet parents that are willfully indoctrinating their children. She got cozy. Then she got the blasphemous song on there called Church Girl, where she uses a sample from uh, Cl the Clark sister, Karen Clark. Karen Clark comes on, thank you, Beyonce, because now I got another check coming. That you will sell your soul for a check? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Next week, I will continue on Kendrick Lamar. I just wanted to introduce him this week. <laughs> That's blasphemous. You don't even know who he is? Okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, so do you understand what's happening here? Do you understand what's happening here? Are y'all still here? Now you're saying, well, what's the problem with that? Here's the scripture on this. Ezekiel 32 and 22, it says, Therefore saith unto the house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, I did not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sakes, which you have profaned among the heathen, that you have, you, have made, you have made mockery of my name because you have literally joined yourself with the heathen, Fred with, listen, when I told y'all, when Fred Hammond did the album with Snoop, I was done. Fred Hammond, my guy, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to play bass like Fred Hammond. You understand what I'm saying? I wanted to stick my stomach out and sit my bass up here too and, and, and go to work. I was devastated. I don't, even, I don't even follow Fred no more. Because they have profaned the name of Yah. In other words, you can't partner up with these people. Never mind. Never mind. You can't be in covenant with these people. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ephesians 5 and 11. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Satan wants to have you and sift you as wheat. He wants to make sure that your life is a living hell and that you never discover who you are and your potential in your relationship with the Most High. He wants to keep you from making it into heaven, and he'll have you forfeit your position by living in pride. And pride will tell you, I can handle it. It's okay. I can do it. Y'all ain't going to help me. That's why people end up staying locked into pornography. They sit locked into um, sex with people that are not their spouses because they say they can handle it if you can handle it. It, you would handle it. Look at somebody say, you need help. I need help. And you know the help I need is the Ruach HaKadosh. We need the Holy Spirit because they that are led of the Spirit will not, will mortify the deeds of the flesh. In other words, if you're being led by the Spirit, you will not let your flesh dictate to you what you need, what you want, and what you want to do because you know the pleasure of sin is just for what, y'all? A season. Are y'all still here with me? Did I lose you today? Romans 1 and 32. Man, let me see if I want to. No, I want to start before that. Travel, let me, we're going to get out of here with this one right here. Oh, my goodness. Start at Romans 1 and 25. See, you got to understand that you and I have to, we have to decide who we're rolling with. Look at somebody say, you got to decide who you with. Like like the like the, like like Jay, Jay who did when he yelled up at the wall. He said, "Who's up there on the Lord's side?" And them eunuchs had got delivered and threw Jezebel over the wall, and she broke her neck. She was not on the Lord's side, and the dogs came and licked her bones up. Jezebel had caused a, 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 a whole bunch of ruckus in the kingdom with her rebellion and her and her sins and lies. Who's on the Lord's side? That be the question today. Who do you serve? Do you serve Baal? He said, well, if you serve Baal, go serve him. Or do you serve the most high? And if you do, serve the most high. We need some folk that's going to be like Joshua. As for me and my house, talk to me, saints. We're going to what? We're going to serve the Lord. We'll try it again. As for me and my house, we're going to do what? Serve the Lord. Look what it says. It says, 
It says, now watch what he says. This is what the problem is, and this is what the lady does not know, nor does she care about that we showed you in the beginning that was arguing with this man about trans women having babies. What she was really saying, men who, who, who believe their women can have babies, or women who believe their men can have babies, excuse me. Well, of course a woman who believes she's a man can have a baby because she still has a womb. Your, 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 your statements are transphobic. He didn't even say nothing. And this is how they're going to shut people down. It says, who changed the truth of God into a lie. These people have changed his truth into what? A lie. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forevermore. Amen. And this is what you're seeing right before our eyes. They worship the creature more than the creator. Verse 27, look what it says here. Are y'all still with me? I know y'all didn't get, you ain't get to get excited and get the hoop, but listen, this is exciting if you're going to decide to do what's right. It says, for this God, watch this, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the nature, the natural use, excuse me, into the, that which is against nature. Watch this. Keep going. We got to hurry up to it, because my time is up. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lust, one towards another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was met. He was saying men with men, women with women. And then the scripture told us that in the last days it would be like it was in the days of Noah. We would see all of these things going on. And I know some of y'all, you know, people should love who they love. I don't I'll do what y'all want to do, but I'm going to serve the Lord. If that means y'all ain't going to help me, I remember this place was packed out. I'm not preaching to pack out a place. I'm preaching to make sure folk get into heaven. Y'all got to remember, I had two locations, one here, one in Geneva. When I started just telling the unadulterated truth, people started leaving because they were offended at what was being taught. But I got to teach the word whether they're offended or not. And I just believe that the Most High has a remnant of people that are going to stand for him, that are going to walk by faith and not by sight. We're not afraid of being persecuted. We're not afraid of being dogged. We're not afraid of being kicked out of their institutions because it is for him we live and move and have our being do I have anybody that sold out that a jump up and say Satan can't have me 28 even as they did not like to retain God in their what y'all that's the problem they're getting the information, but they don't want to retain it in their knowledge. It says, so God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. When you are reprobate, that means God says, I'll leave you over to yourself. And the worst person he can leave you over to is you. Because in your flesh, you come on, say it again, dwells no good thing. How many people in here? You didn't even have to get taught evil. You learn how to do wrong on your own. It's innately built into your flesh. That's why Paul said, when I would to do good, evil was always present. He wasn't talking about the devil being present. He was talking about your flesh. Everywhere you go, this flesh goes with you. You are a spirit that lives and resides in the body that possesses a soul. The real you is your spirit man. And some of y'all, Satan has gotten you so far away from who you really are and supposed to be. You are doing things that you weren't even taught by your mama to do. But I'm going to say this like this, just like my mama said to me. Uh, when, she, I, when, this is when, I, when I go to bed at night, my sons don't even know it, but I say, Tyler don't even know he's supposed to preach. He, he know he's supposed to preach. He know he's supposed to spread this word. He know he's supposed to. So, Father, I thank you right now while he's sleeping, trouble him. Rodney know he's supposed to share this word while he's sleeping, trouble him. Faith, she's fighting it like she can never fight it before. But that's why she come to me and say, Dad, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing more and saying more you are because you've been bought with a price. You're not your own. From your mother's very womb, you have been called out as a generation of people that's supposed 
supposed to go win the world and not be in the world. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. And you need to look at your children and say, you're going to be who God said you're going to be. You're going to do what he said you're going to do. You ain't going to be able to run now. You can't run for so long. You keep trying to run, but you're going to keep running in the dead streets because friends can't help you fulfill your purpose. Y'all ain't going to help me. Money can't help you fulfill your purpose. Y'all ain't going to help me, but you got to have a right relationship with the most high. That's why he even travailed when he was on Child I Avenue. The Holy Ghost would come and arrest him right off the streets. And when he said he wasn't going to be back, he back, baby. He back. He just preached for three straight weeks. And everybody in his family thought it was over. But I'm telling you, God sent me with a pizza crown to say, son, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you because greatness is in you. If you believe it, you need to jump up on your feet and say, Satan can't have me. Call the three people and say he can't have you either. He can't have you either. He can't have you either. Huh. Make sure it's all. Look at somebody say, he can't have me. He can't have me. Look at somebody say, the gig is up. I'm not running no more. I'm submitting to the call of the most high on my life. Do I have a believer in here? Can I get somebody that's been saved, delivered, and set free from these streets and from the foolishness that Satan tried to indoctrinate you in to open your mouth and give him praise? Can I get some men that'll run and thank the most high you're free? Can I get somebody... Give me a little more. Give me a little more. Somebody said, he can't have me. He can't have me. Can you put a stake in the ground today and say, he can't have me? Can I get you to put a stake in the ground and say, he can't have me? Look at somebody and say, he can't have me. He won't have me. I will not give in. I will not yield. Am I talking to the right people? Look at your child and say, you'll be preaching. You'll be evangelizing. You'll be telling people the truth. You won't sit back for years and sit on your gift. He's going to use you for your glory. The same people you ran with are the same people you're going to have in these chairs. We ain't after other church people. We after people that Satan trying to kill, steal, and destroy. But look at somebody and say, I come that you would have life. He said, I come that you would have life and that you would have it more abundantly. Yes, today is your day. Your day is your day for a turnaround. Some of y'all, you've been feeling like your life is over. Some of y'all been quietly and secretly depressed. And part of it is you ain't been operating in your purpose. You don't even know why you're here. You you feel like you've been abandoned and just left here for no reason but look at somebody and say you got purpose you got some folks you went to high school you gotta win you got some people that you see every day on your job you gotta win you say well little old me yes he gonna use you because he take the foolish things of this world to confound the wise there's many of you i see a trail of people coming in here behind you oh y'all have church on saturday no we have deliverance on saturday we have freedom on saturday we have healing Healing on Saturday. You don't need no healing, Crystal. I got the bomb in Gilead, and his name is Yeshua. He is the healer. I wish I had people say he can't have me. Give me a little more. Give me a little more. Somebody say he can't have me. He can't have me. He can't have me as we get ready to close. That's the reason why an aneurysm couldn't get rid of you. You ain't done yet. That's the reason why all four or five of them couldn't get rid of you. You ain't done yet. He got glory that he got to get from your life. That's why cancer couldn't kill you. That's why lupus couldn't kill you. That's the reason why cancer will never kill you. Everybody in here, you need to say, I'll never have it. And it'll never have me. Am I talking to the right people? When other people died in what you were going through, you're still here because he ain't done with you because to all the living there is hope i want you to point somebody and say it's hope for me he ain't done with me yet he's just getting started he's just getting started shout ya i need 
need a little more. They won't give it to me. E, help me out, E. They won't give it to me. Look at somebody and say, he just got started with me. We're just getting started. And that's the reason why I'm telling you just to show I'm standing here. You won't need the surgery again. You don't already told the Lord, I don't want to go through that no more. And you ain't got to go through it. I dare you to praise him. And as you submit to his will, as you submit to the call, y'all ain't going to help me. Look at somebody and say, I won't be sick. I won't have COVID. I won't have monkey pots. Y'all won't say nothing. Somebody holler, Satan can't have me. Now, notice he said, when you're converted, go win your brethren. Look at somebody and say, I got an army. Come on, say, I got an army of people that are coming behind me. You're not in the schools without a purpose. Them kids need you, and you know they do. That's why you find yourself ministering to people with, that have pain that you don't understand. Just because you didn't go through the pain don't mean he ain't called you to deliver people out of it. You understand what I'm saying? You have been strategically placed. Isn't it amazing of your own confession? You admit your struggles through school, but you had to go through it so he can put you where you're supposed to be. You're right where you're supposed to be. Man, when I get up every day, I say, God, thank you. My sons are right where they're supposed to be. Faith is right where she's supposed to be. Teaching people how to live by faith. You got to make your mind up. Are you going to live for the world? Or you're going to live for Yeshua. He didn't give you the miracle he gave you for no reason. You remember we were standing right here and I said, the Lord said, you won't do a day. You won't do a time. And you said to me, <laughs> when y'all went, your mother and it was like all nervous. You said, God don't already took care of this. You walked into court with your bold self. And the judge said, I don't know why I'm doing this, just like the Lord said, and let you go. But he didn't let you go so the world can have you. He kept you out so you can deliver people from going. Look at somebody and say, get locked in. Get locked in. And stay locked in. in. Why are you standing on your feet? It is my prayer <clears throat> that the Holy Spirit has convicted you. And since he has convicted you, don't allow your pride to cause you to say, I can fix this myself. Because you can't. And I know because I couldn't. And a host of other people couldn't. And even when I thought I was fixing it myself, I was getting worse. We can't fix it ourselves. We got to submit to the only one who bled and died for us. Not the Kendrick Lamar, he ain't took no crowns of thorns. He ain't took no 39 lashes. He ain't took no pierces in his side or in his hands or his feet. He did not take a thorn of, y'all ain't going to help me. It's nice to get a nice theatrical one made and talk about you being persecuted like Christ. But you can't even say you're being persecuted because you don't even follow him. And if you follow him, he said to pick up his cross, pick up your own cross and deny yourself. So even if you're being persecuted, you put it in proper perspective and say, you know what? But I'm being persecuted for his name's sake, and I'm good with that. Anybody good with that? I want every single person that know that it is time as Biden don't sign the executive order to take us to cryptocurrency, which is going to cripple this economy and collapse it. When, 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 uh, when we know that they're protecting uh, every other group but us. We got to make sure we're under his protection. They put an Asian hate crime bill in place. Man, they've been hating and beating on us for 400 years. We can't even get them to take the lynching law off the, t the table. How many people know you need them? And how many people you want them? And you got to have them. And you need to be discipled. And you need to learn the truth. You need to run up here right now. If you need to repent, you know you, you need to change your life. You need to come right now. You need to come right now. Y'all ought to clap while they're coming. You ought to clap while they're coming. You ought to clap while they're coming. Thank you, E. Thank you, E.
He's been calling you by name. Some of y'all, he's been visiting in the middle of the nights in dreams and visions. The, the Bible talks about it in Job 33, to withdraw man from his own purpose and to withdraw his soul from the pit. He loves you so much that he'll shake you out of your sleep and let you know it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Now's his time. When you send me the text and said, Uncle Rodney, I probably should get back to doing this. Yes, not just doing that, but being who you really are. Who you really are. You know, we can get so consumed with following people that we end up losing ourselves. There's others you need to come while it's time. While it's time. While it's time. Hallelujah. 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 While it's time. Amen. Y'all need to clap while they come in. While it's time. While it's time. While it's time. I can't remember the song. She wanted me sing it a little bit while she was coming and visit. You remember? Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so if you can't, then oh fine. Just play as a spirit. Okay, you got Don't stare at me. Talk to your father. Talk to your father. Tell him what you're sorry of. Tell him, tell him why you know you need him. Talk to him, not, not staring around and That's how long I love you. That's how long I love you. And this is what he's saying to you. Forever. He's saying forever is a long time. And that's how long I love you. How many people know he's loved you with an everlasting love? and with love and kindness has he drawn you. Denounce sin. Father, I denounce sin right now. Father, I denounce my old ways. Just talk to him. You know how you've broke his heart, but you also know how in breaking his heart he stayed faithful. He stayed faithful to loving you. Amen. And as you lift your hands, surrender. As you lift your hands, surrender. It's okay if you feel like crying. Crying is not a sign of weakness. It's just a sign of how Intense your love is for the most high and how strong the conviction has been and as your hands are lifted I want you to ask him father to forgive me forgive me of my sins forgive me of my offenses and I accept you into my life afresh right now come on repeat it I accept you into my life right now I accept you into my life right now I believe you died for me I believe you rose for me and you're my Lord and Savior and I thank you for another chance. If you're thankful for another chance, praise him, give him glory, tell him thank you. Come on. One more time. Forever. Come on. That's okay, baby. That's okay. He's doing a new work in you. He's doing a new work in you. It's so great. It's okay. It's okay.
Greatest circle of encouragement y'all can have. Y'all can fight the good fight of faith together. Y'all can encourage each other. And y'all can literally win this city for Yeshua. Yes, y'all can. Yes, y'all can. Yes, y'all can. He's changing you to the point where your mother won't even recognize you anymore. You'll never be the nows that you've become, but you're going back to being who he called you to be. I want you to lift your hands and denounce sin as you denounce sin. Even the addiction of weed that's trying to come over you, I rebuke it in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. You've been battling in your mind the last few months trying to make decisions. Decisions, but today you made the greatest decision you can ever make and that's giving him your life again that's why the tears are flowing because you love him with an ever you love him like he loved you but you understand that you've gotten a little off but you're back lift your hands and say I'm back Satan can't have me that's all right somebody grab him and hug him one of y'all grab him and hug him y'all grab him and hug him and love on him he's back he's back He's back. That's it, Auntie. Come on. He's back. He's back. He's back. Hallelujah. 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 You hate what he hates. You dislike what he dislikes. You go where he say go. You do what he say do. He's called you to a higher level of calling. He's called you to win the world, not be inundated into the world. Y'all help him. He, he's going to send you into places that you've been called to be light and salt. You got to stay on point. You got to let the Satan they know you can't have me. You can't have me. Come minister to him. You can't have me. You can't have me. Come on, Vail. Come on, Vail. You got a lot of folk you can help. Come on, minister to him. You can, you can help him better than I can. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you have influence for a reason. You got to stay focused and locked in. Because every time you say you're going to stay focused and locked in, certain people creep back around in your life. Y'all ain't going to help me, but you know I told you from the day I met you, you've been called to evangelize. In other words, you got the ability to bring people in. People will listen to you, and he'll give you the words to say, and you will speak with the tongue of the learned. Sometimes you're quiet because you don't feel like you got the right words, but you've been through enough to know what to say. He said, we've overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony you should be dead you can't tell people I should be dead but God uh -huh. lift your hands lift your hands and receive and receive so he's doing a new thing in you that the fire of Yah will be upon you and that you will speak with unknown tongues and you will minister to people from backgrounds that other people could never talk to you've been born with purpose that's why in some cases in your life you've been abandoned so you can help the abandoned you've been you've been rejected to be able to help those who've been rejected you understand what I'm saying and some of the things that you've brushed under the rug like they didn't hurt you they hurt you but you fought through it but you're gonna teach people how to not just fight through it but you will teach people how to be overcomers excuse me excuse me and even some of the residual effects that's been left the tremors and everything like that that's all gonna be gone that'll be one more testimony that you'll be able to tell them that I this week you'll call me and say Bishop it cleared up this is crazy he's gonna do it again he's doing it again he's doing it again it again he's doing it again you ought to praise him and give him glory we gotta go we gotta go Forever. Forever is a long come on y'all sing with some power that's how long i'll love you that's how long i'll love you turn them up turn them up Forever. what you say Give me a 
favor. I want you to go hug my wife, Michelle, as the Holy Spirit leads you, just minister to her. She needs it, she needs it. Cause some people don't know that she, she, listen, I see you going through struggles in your mind. I see you going through struggles in your mind with issues of identity and, and really understanding who you are. Like, why am I here and what purpose do I have? That's how much. That's how long I'll love you. That's how long I'll love you. Let me hear you say forever. Forever. Saints of the Most High, let us all put a stake in the ground. And those of you who are sold out, those of you who ain't going back, those of you who have received even what he said by saying not being sifted this week but I prayed that your faith fell you off not but he says when you're converted go win your brother look at somebody and say I'm going to tell everybody about them that I know we are glad that this church has emptied out of certain things how many people know we want the unsaved we want the unchurched we want the broken hearted so that we can show them that Christ is the lifter of their head and their souls. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? And those of you who are on this altar, don't think you got to know 100,000 scriptures to start ministering to people. But you minister as he leads you and you invite people. Man, come to this fellowship we have. On, on, on Sabbath or Saturdays they won't even understand that but come to it there's people in here that don't understand it and still fighting with it but you don't even know that you're actually in the most highest will right now you're where you're supposed to be right now amen look at somebody and say I'm going to share this good news look at the people next to you say share the good news share the good news alright faith hug your friend take you back to your seat y'all can go back to your seat it's time for us to give come on and clap your hands and give them glory If you want to use a card, you can see Denise. Denise, lift your hands. If you got cash, you can just come lay it on the altar. Whatever you're doing, you can use these different three, three ways to give. Give as, give, give, listen, give according to your faith. Give according to your faith. I could tell you what to give, but if, listen, he may tell you to do more, but make sure you're definitely tithing. And if you have, you've gotten away from tithing, you need to get back on course. Amen because you don't want to cut off your, your, your supply. Amen. And I know so, well, Creflo Dollar said, don't pay no attention to Creflo. He ain't reading the book right. I'm going to say that about him. I don't care how big his church is. He's still wrong. Are you here? Are you here? He's still wrong. Forever. I love it. Oh, well, you can play something different, son. I didn't mean to mess with you. Good father. He's it. He's a good father. Right there. Listen. So go ahead and take your time to give. If you got cash, lay it on the altar. If you got a card, see Denise. If you're, if you're online and you know how to contact Denise, reach out to Denise. But everybody should give according to your faith and, and how grateful you are that he's blessed you. He's blessed you with the job. He's blessed you with the ability to get up and go work it. Amen. Hit that perfect in all your ways when we get there. As we get ready to go. Lift those hands and say, because he's perfect in all his ways. You're perfect. You are perfect in all of your ways. 
Lift those hands. You are the most time for watching. YouTubers, please subscribe, click the notification bell, like, and share. If you're watching us on Facebook Live, simply join the Dominion Center page by clicking like, then 